this video was supposed to be published on March 19th, the first day of spring, but I was also supposed to be on vacation in the tropics, so. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany, and today we're gonna do what the girl shoulda did a month ago and discuss all the cute things that I wanna buy for spring and summer. Now, I know Big Rona has slept through and made the concept of spring and summer seem really bleak, but you know, I'm an optimistic girl. And if spring and summer can't happen for me here in Chicago, then later on in the year when things are back to the new normal, I'll just vacation to spring and summer. Anywho, let's jump right in because the girls have been releasing some pieces. And of course, I'm going to link everything down below. So first we have Eloquy. The doll has not been playing around with us. Every time I look, every week Eloquy does a drop and I see it on Instagram, it's just good. Everything is so good. The first two things from Eloquy is like a set, but of course they can be worn separately. This satin vest and these matching pants. Oh my God, this green is so pretty and vivid, like the perfect Kelly green. When I saw this for the first time, I shrieked because it's so pretty, it's gorgeous, and I absolutely have to have it. I want both pieces, and I'm already working on the looks for the pieces separately. Now this, another set, or you can wear them separately, but I want them together, is so perfect. These colorful pastel-ish stripes yes please i want both pieces i'm kind of uh, on the shorts just because i'm kind of uh, on all shorts for me um i haven't really worn shorts outside of like on vacation since i was like 12. um the doll doesn't love chub rub and i also hate when shorts start to like go up on the inner thigh so we'll see about the shorts, but the jacket is an absolute must have. It's so perfect and I'm going to order a size up so that I can give the girls a little oversized look. Okay, okay, okay. This blazer is perfect. You guys know how I feel about things within the chartreuse family. It's my favorite color. You know the vibes. I love this color and I love this blazer. It looks so well tailored. The stitching and the shoulder detail, this is so perfect. Now this isn't really spring for me because I get hot very fast, but this is definitely, well, you know, it could be like a, a cold spring night or um, a crisp autumn day. Regardless of when I wear it, I'm getting it. I have to have this. I have to have this blazer, it's so perfect. Okay, now these pants are so cute. I first saw them in black and they immediately reminded me of the fringe pants that Eloquy came out with that I also have because yes. And I saw them in black and immediately wished that they came in like a color, like a, a vivid color. How good would these pants look in orange? But then the white came out and I liked them. So I want them, but I, I still want the orange or like a baby blue or like um, a minty green, any color really. Eloquy, these need to be colored. They need, they need to be colored. And these need to be on my body when I go on vacation next, which is hopefully very soon. Now, usually when I'm going into a season and I'm shopping, I come up with a theme, like what I'm trying to give, and I don't have a name for my theme yet. But by the time I finish editing this video and I see everything collectively, I'll, I'm sure I'll have one and I'll like edit it right here. Somewhere within my theme is like Golden Girls realness. And this jogging suit, I want the pants and the jacket, another set, gives me like retirement home chic. It's so good, it's so cute. These pieces can be dressed up or down. I'm probably gonna dress them down because comfort. This is just the cutest thing. And this is something I would also like to see 
in another color. It reminds me of like every jogging suit that I had from the ages of four to nine. You know, the squish squish jogging suits. I want to see this in fuchsia. Fuchsia with like an orange stripe. That would be so beautiful. I'm into white blouses and you're going to see that as we go through this list. This blouse is so romantic and so cute. Again, it's, it's very light I'm seeing but because it's on the neck and it's long sleeve, it's something that I probably won't be able to wear for spring because like I said, the dog gets hot, but I want it because it's cute. And imagine things layered over it like a cute vest or like my little leather bustier that I love so much from Eloquy as well. Now from Eloquy, we're gonna skip over to Anthropology. This dress is actually from Anthropology, and it's so beautiful, it's so comfortable. This is how you quarantine glamorously. This is the kind of dress that you wear when you call your daughter from upstairs just to hand me the remote, despite the fact that it's two feet away from you. If I can find it, I will link it below. So the first thing from Anthro is the Shauna blouse. This blouse is so beautiful, so colorful and graphic. I love it. I love it so much. I love stripes. I love bright colors. I love print. And this is all of those things powdered to one thing. I need this. So somewhere within my theme is a, a huge 90s influence. Obviously, if I'm thinking of like joggers um, that I wore when I was five, six, and seven, I'm definitely thinking 90s. So this tube top, bandeau situation is giving me very much mariah carey and glitter it's giving me the clothes that i printed out in the junior section that my mama would not let me do i want this top it's so cute it could be dressed up or down but how cute would it be with like some light to medium white jeans some mules glowing skin on the decollete and like uh, a wet and wavy ish wig with a middle part I love this skirt. Um, I'm skeptical because the split in my hips could be potentially problematic. It's definitely something that I would want to try on as compared to ordering online. Um, it does have stretch, but I fear that because I'm so hippy that it would cause the split to gape and there is nothing that I hate more than a gaping split. Okay, let's go over the pond to see the girl ASOS. Another white blouse, a button down, but these balloon sleeves just add a little extra oomph, a little bit of drama, some romance. Definitely a perfect piece for layering. I love this blouse. Okay, okay. We have another set. Um, this screams clueless. This screams Dion and Cher and... The only thing missing is like white patent Mary James in a ridiculous hat. This suit is so cute, it's so perfect. Of course I love the color. I love that the length of the blazer and the length of the skirt is like the same. The skirt being so mini is kind of worrisome because you know I'm so bottom heavy and everything like rises, but I'm willing to risk it baby. I need this. <laughs> shorts, but not just any shorts. Dolphin shorts. When I first saw these shorts, this picture of the cast from Girlfriends immediately came to mind. They look so good and I've always wanted something like that, but I knew I would never find it. And yet, here it is. I want to see these shorts in colors. I want it in cobalt. I want them in fuchsia. I want them in orange. I These shorts are perfect. Now, how can I do a list without my good sis Zara, the girl I love to hate? Zara always gives me good body calm because quiet is kept, it's not supposed to be body calm, but because I insist on squeezing and everything, it becomes body calm. Squeeze my tiny ass up in this. Upstage these bitches up in here. You like this girl? Cute. This cutout dress is cute, it's perfect, it's great for like a cool-ish, spring night a little date night situation it's it's really cute and it has matte stretch now that's the the secret to zara um people like on instagram often ask me how do i be squeezing into these zara clothes 
And the key is the stretch. Like I'm going in the store and maybe, well, this dress has absolutely no stretch, none whatsoever. But I'm in the store and I'm doing this to everything, okay? Um, this dress comes with a lot of stretch and because of the amount of span spandex in Zara's clothes, I have some dresses that are a size small and I have dresses that are a size large. Another white blouse. This is perfect. Black biker shorts, leggings, jeans, nothing. I love this so much. It's perfect for vacation. It's perfect for everything. It's perfect for anything. And that's why I'm going to get it. So this is the texture and material dress that I luck out the most um, on with Zara. I don't even have to try these dresses on because I just know. And typically I can do a medium or a large in these dresses. I have one in yellow and it's perfect. I got a couple of them actually. I got yellow, pink, yada yada. Um, this is close-ish to my skin tone where it gives you that like sexy, like naked dress effect. So it's a must. And then she has a similar, a similar one. And I may go for this one just because it doesn't have the definition, the seam at the bust. Because, you know, when you start getting like those seams that differentiate the bust from the waist, it tells the secret as to whether it really fits or not. Because if the titty's too big, they just too big. <laughs> And speaking of titties, I've been seeing the, the resurgence of this trend of like shrunken cardigans. And I remember shrunken cardigans in the 90s, of course, and like the early 2000s. What's that video model's name? Tracy somebody. She had fake boobs and they just sat up like fucking rocks. And she would always wear these little cardigans with just like one button done. And that button wasn't moving because them titties weren't moving. That's not the energy I myself can give. I don't really know what I could give. So I want this, but obviously I don't want to wear clothes, but obviously my bras are practically bulletproof vests, so I can't wear it with like one delicate button undone. So I don't know, maybe two or three buttons. I mean, you want to be a hoochie, but you cannot. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. It really stresses me out sometimes because I really want to like intensify my hoochiness, but then I have to be practical. But I don't want to be practical. Now this store is somewhere that I've never shopped, but my sister who just turned 18, she enjoys this store, which makes sense because she's 18. Um, so after buying her some stuff from the store because of her birthday, I started perusing it for myself and I saw some pieces. So this wrap top is just so cute. It's perfect. Um, it's really not too much to say. It's like baby spice meets Morticia. It's necessary um, for my wardrobe. As someone who practically lives in museums, I need this. I need to walk around looking at the Sistine Chapel. It's necessary for me. The top, perfect. The skirt, girl, I don't know if I can swing it because again, it's mini and I'm hippie, but I want it. This is so cute. As soon, as soon as things open back up, I'm running to the museum and taking pictures with every Baroque looking painting wearing this outfit. I will blend and it will be amazing. This little corsety bustier situation, I want it. The cow print, I need it. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a tourist. It's tourist season. This is essential. Wear it alone. Layer it over one of those white blouses that I've shown. This is coming into my wardrobe. And this one is too. I love this like soft brocade-ish um print the appearance of boning like i don't know how real that boning is but i like that it appears to be boning it's giving me very much like section 8 vivian westwood and i love that for me i want that for me the girls over at ftf also has a little vivian westwood-esque top going on i love that this is in a solid color i love that it's more satiny 
I love that it's a little bit longer as compared to crop. So of course I want it. This would also be beautiful in like a wine color, like a deep red. Another naked dress. I don't need to say too much. It's bodycon, it's brown, perfect for vacation. Perfect for a throw on dress after you've laid on the beach all day and you've gotten three shades darker. This is perfect. I need it. This orange is so pretty. And they know because the way they shot it with my homegirl sister just casually strolling through the jungle looking sickening and tanned and glowy in this orange. You know, they talk about yellow on black girls, but orange would also like a word. I love the little tickle of fringe along the hem. I love the crochet-esque texture. I love this. This is so cute and I'm so mad that this wasn't up when I placed that fashion figure order a couple months ago. I did a, a FTF haul and I will put it somewhere so you guys can watch that if you haven't already. I don't shop Rev Doll often. I have a few pieces, but I don't shop them too often. But I peruse them because what is there to do but to go online and look at things you wanna buy? I love this colorful dress. It's so cute, it's so graphic. Of course, I would create like a really high split by leaving most of the bottom buttons unbuttoned. And I would also probably pull it off of the shoulder a little bit. Um, it's so cute. It's a cute vacation dress. It's a cute errant dress. It's a cute brunch dress. I have to have this dress. It's so pretty. This animal print. So perfect. I need it. I bought, um, two, like, silk slip dresses from Red Dolls. And I got them in a 4X. They were so big at the top. And almost, almost, like too tight at the bottom. I had to get them tailored, which annoyed me. But you know, girls, I don't learn my lesson, so I'm willing to do it all over again because this dress is so cute. And honestly, the plus size girls really are not making like good silk dresses, like satin slip dresses, and that is all I want. I want a nice, beautiful, heavy one. Why aren't they making it? Anywho, I need this. Satin pants. I need them. I bought like the wide leg pants from Rep Dolls before. I bought them and they were like in a um, like a cotton knit material. They were perfect. The fit was perfect. The length was perfect. I'm a tall girl, so the length was perfect. And that's one of the downsides of wide leg pants for people who are above five five. Um, they typically flood. <laughs> so Rep Dolls definitely gives you length. And they were too long, but I didn't have to get them tailored. I did like a self hem at home and they were perfect. These pants are similar in color and shape to those Eloquy ones we just dropped. I will link those below, but it's a slightly cheaper price for my girls who are on a bit of a budget or just don't want to spend hella money on silk pants. Do I know where I'm wearing orange leather pants to? No. Does that stop me from wanting these pants? No, I need these pants. These are so cute to me. This is the type of shit that, that, this. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been waiting. I get so frustrated with some plus size brands for keeping plus size people in a box when it comes to design and silhouette and textiles used and prints used and so on and so forth. When I see shit like this, I get excited. I have to have these pants. Will I wear them spring, summer? No, because I don't want to be passed out on the street, but they're definitely going to be on my body come fall. I skipped over to see what the doll forever was heading for and I didn't see much. I typically only get swimsuits from Forever 21. Their swimsuits slap ferociously. Like just about every swimsuit that I've worn is from Forever 21. Their clothes, but this little swim cover up is very cute. It's, it's romantic. I would absolutely wear it as a dress. Um, it screams vacation. It screams give me a straw hat situation. It's really pretty. I love the creamy color. 
maybe it's just the picture itself with like the muslin backdrop it's just so warm and soft and aesthetically pleasing that's making the dress look really good but it's working i guess that was the point of the shoot it's working because i want it it's so pretty another brand i don't shop with often is simply b but i found myself on their site and i found this dress and it's so cute bodycon black what's new i'll tell you what's new it's the hook eye detail all down the front like please dresses the screen easy access that's my kind of carrying on like i need this dress it's so perfect i love like the square neckline the thick straps it also like most other things scream 90s so i want it i admittedly don't shop indie brands a lot and as i you know when i did my zara try on haul which i will link somewhere i mentioned um trying to slow down with fast fashion and i do have a fast fashion video coming up as well as a thrift haul coming up basically i've been hoarding content i don't want to discuss it right now anyway i said that i was going to attempt to shop indie brands more because obviously i want to support smaller brands and more than likely it's better for the earth because most of the indie brands that i know of they produce their clothing here in the state um their the workers are paid a livable wage and there's not nearly as much detriment on the environment as say with like a, a very very large brand that produces thousands and thousands of SKUs. Zelly for she is a brand that i've known of their instagram beautiful just so aesthetically pleasing she chooses the best models she has the the prettiest shoots everything just looks so soft and warm and and calming and, and feminine and beautiful all things that i love so obviously i'm drawn to the brand this hazy summer dress oh my god i need it do i know what i'm gonna do with my titties in this dress no will i figure it out yeah after i buy it this dress is so good it's so pretty i honestly want to take it beyond the beach it deserves <laughs> it deserves to sit in restaurant chairs it deserves to be on my body as i stroll down the street it deserves everything i want this dress so badly it's so beautiful and i hope that down the line she does it in more colors like a, a nudie brown girl nude the starlight set is also very perfect because it's giving me or what what i wanted to give on me is like big banshee vibes like this set is so cute it gives me like twerking for 30 minutes in the mirror before hitting up the barbecue to get a plate and then hitting up another one i need this set it ain't supposed to be banshee but that's what it's giving me and that's what i intend to give it in. So I didn't really focus on shoes and accessories because I just didn't. Um, I did find two pairs of shoes on Topshop. They are both like a lime color, so I'm obsessed. Both mules, so I'm obsessed. They're so cute, especially the nutmeg pair. They're giving me so much at such a good price. Like this heel and that curve, the height. You know, girls, I'm here for comfort these days. And 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 low heel mules give me so much because heels are exhausting and uncomfortable. And who wants to be carrying around an extra pair of shoes in their purse? Not me. Okay, girls, that's it for this video. Have y'all been shopping? I know I have been shopping and I'm going to have like a quarantine haul video up really soon. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece um, from my little list is. What are y'all shopping for? Do you have themes for your looks collectively? If so, what are they? Like I said, by the time I edit this video, I will have a name. It, but so far, I'm getting like... Um. Make sure you subscribe. 
follow me on Instagram. Somehow I've been managing to stay consistent over there and I've been posting content. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Very, very soon. Because like I said, I've been hoarding content, girl, and I'm tired.